Greetings travelers and welcome to the YouTube. Aha! You probably thought I was about to say welcome to the slipstream, but no my travelers right now we are here on the YouTube and today we are going to play test yet another incoming uh, indie game from the G-Round roster that uh, we have available here. Uh, a little bit more details uh, on that uh, you will get at the end of this video and below the video in this YouTube channel. But uh, tonight, my friends, we are about to explore the world of... Uh, and listen to this very carefully, for I shall say this only once. Uh, the Sacred Acorn. Uh, basically, basically, this is one of those names uh, that... Uh, when I compare it to my native, uh, you know, to my native speaking, to my native language, it's always going to be a kind of a play of words and very difficult to pronounce for me. <laughs> so we are going with the Sacred Acorn once again here, a game made in Unity by a studio, a small indie developer called A Few Dragons from Adelaide, Australia. And uh, it is, as you can probably see by the graphics here on this intro screen, one of those very cutesy, very wholesome, very easygoing, chill games uh, that uh, have kind of been getting uh, some traction on popularity as well lately, you know. I think that uh, the most prominent mainstream, uh, you know, games uh, when it comes to that genre are probably going to always be, at least for the time being, you know, uh, things like Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing. But we are seeing kind of like a, a rise in this type of a game and... Uh, I'm basically here referring, you know, to the aesthetics of the game itself. This one, however, has a lot to offer. It's a game based on puzzle solving, exploration, uh, getting uh, a little bit of combat done as well. Basically kind of like uh, uh, exploring a world in its own setting. And uh, we're going to take a look. But of course, first of all, uh, for anyone and everyone that is interested about it, uh, uh, the specs you can run this game on. So you want to run it uh, optimally on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Uh, it would be enough to have an Intel Core of i5 or Ryzen 5000 uh, with 8 gigabytes of RAM memory and a very simple GeForce 9800 GTX graphics cards. Uh, and that would be your optimal. If you're going with the minimum requirements, they are very similar, basically Windows 10, you can run it with Intel Core 2 Duo or only Ryzen 3000 with only 4 GB of RAM memory and the same graphic settings. So I think it will be very, very lenient and uh, very adaptable to a lot of systems uh, that people are running for gaming and for other stuff as well. But you know, without further ado, let's check, uh, let's check in with the options, something that we usually do when we test out games. So let's see what we have here on offer. Well, first of all, we have uh, resolution settings that unfortunately in this demo version are not very much available. As you can see, we are kind of locked in 1080p. We are also locked in the full screen window. It is not changeable at the moment, but we have the ability to uh, leave the screen shake or disable it, which uh, of course we will leave for a little bit uh, more oomph to the game. And we can play around with the sound settings, as you can see, they are optimal and they are working right now on this build. Uh, of course, uh, the disclaimer, as always, is that uh, this is only the first test run. This is an upcoming game, it's not yet released, so it is in a playtest phase. And we are going to basically test out the demo that we have available on G-Round. So, you know, don't expect perfect things, don't expect everything to work uh, in order, you know, we'll see how it goes. And of course, uh, you can pretty much expect that uh, in time, in time, they will add more options. They will enable all of those customizing options and of course, add more gameplay. But you know, without making this intro too long, let's check out what this game is all about, my friends. Of course, we are going to delete this uh, initial save and start a new game so everyone can see. Uh, we're, we're getting a, quite a bit of storyline as well. You will notice that uh, uh, we are basically going to play like a, you know, in the in the format of a very cute squirrel. And the storyline boils down to uh, the elders have been protecting the grove, the forest, our living space for years in memorial. But now, unfortunately, something happened, and something is corrupting the great tree protectors, uh, making them angry, making them a uh, rage with a vengeance and we need to calm them down.
there you go that is not good you know you can pretty much see it that is no good but there is our character we are a very cute little squirrel and we are going to set ourselves on adventure in this world tonight so let's see what we have here in store as you can see the dialogue uh, is uh, in textual format but uh, you know the voiceovers uh, question you know uh, quotation marks uh, voiceover is kind of like Chip and Dale it very much reminds me of uh, the situation we have in Animal Crossing when you you know communicate with the NPCs which is kind of cool in my book so we are going to talk with Mass here and uh, they will tell you they will tell us basically that uh, we kind of need to find our way back uh, to to the squirrel village and uh, speaking of squirrels no one mentioned the up movie and the squirrel moment we are not discussing about that right now my friends but yeah we are basically going to uh, go uh, to the squirrel village and try to explore what the hell is going on with the great tree to saka why is it angry and what can we do about it we need to go to the tribe and talk to the old mellow all right the way ahead is blocked you'll need to find five acorns to open the way back to the burrows where mellow and the tribe is so that is a big part of the game is locating acorns and opening uh, different parts of the map by using those acorns as you will see you know uh you can see the way the art style of the game is being uh, created right now i kind of like it it's almost pastel like it's uh it's very cute i do think that uh, there is uh, still some uh, some work that can be done in terms of fluidity of the combat and fluidity of the movements but it looks quite pretty you know it's one of those wholesome very easy going very chill games and i kind of am fond of uh, such a game so you will notice here our our route is blocked so uh, we need to find another way and this is one of those games that you really want to explore the world in because there are many many hidden items that you can pick up around the world one very interesting thing okay let's do the attack first uh, so i can show you how you basically push your way through things and there we go we have uh, what i call a sh you know a crab of some sorts here those are basically our npc enemies and we can just slap them this is like a uh, the the easiest enemy in the game that we have encountered and uh, for the most part you are very fast apparently as a squirrel you are a very fast boy here so you don't uh, really want to engage every single npc in combat you kind of want to avoid them because they drop these orbs uh, that can uh, replenish your health so you don't want to waste the npcs unless you really need to replenish your force however uh, another very interesting thing that i have noted here in the game is when you use your attack basically on age uh, you can find some interacts uh, with the environment in the game as you can see here bam see you can uh, basically destroy the flowers you can pick up grass uh, where there is grass i will show you it's kind of cool that uh, some things are interactable like that which makes me believe that uh, down the line in the future as the game development progresses we'll have more fun things to do in the game see like the flowers here now it doesn't it does not do anything but it's very cool to have nevertheless all right uh, so this thing closed for me because the crab wants to attack me the crab is very simple as you can see um uh, the attacks feel a little bit detached they not feel they don't feel as fluid as i would want them to be i kind of hope that uh, that will be improved over time also uh, here is the the point the x marks the spot where we actually burrow for acorns and we find our acorns there so we have the five acorns right now but uh, i would kind of suggest that to maybe develop a different system for this because uh, even though you have to find them around the world it's a little bit too obvious when it comes to the acorns that uh, you know where where they are and uh, if x marks the spot it's very simple to get around it right let me see if we can avoid this uh Duderino here i don't think so we will have to we'll have to kill him unfortunately my friend uh, you are going to have to be dispatched but uh, for no reason at all because you're in my way there we go we'll avoid this one though and we'll just be on our merry way oh another one see now we can spend our acorns and bam we grant passage also because we learned this uh, let me just uh, no don't you dare sir i'm so bad at this there we go because we have learned 
our main attack, our basic attack, basically. We can destroy this right now and open up the passage. Uh, we don't really need it, but just for a showcase. Heading over to the village. Now, this is a very interesting point. So, in the game, you don't really get a map. Uh, the way you get access to the map is by uh, taking a look at this rune-like thingy and you're basically getting the map of the world, which as you will notice, it's kind of small. And uh, I have heard and seen people kind of complain about it, that the world is small. You do need to remember, like I said at the beginning of, uh, of this video, it is uh, an upcoming game, it's not yet finished. And at the same time, I kind of uh, think that this is a good idea to not have huge maps, uh, because if you don't actually have uh, the actual map, to show you where you are if it's uh, going to be situational like this when you come near a rune like this even though the world is kind of small you can still get lost quite quite easily in the game so you don't want that to happen and uh, you know days of the people getting around and remembering their directions especially in the gaming sphere are long gone you know long gone are the days of yesteryear the gamer of today needs to be a little bit spoon-fed and I think that uh, given the size of the map and given this choice uh, to have limited access to the actual maps uh, it is a good idea to not have a huge world uh, in a particular area like this but let's talk uh, now if you go around and explore the world you will see uh, some rooms around here and this will actually be helpful in an upcoming puzzle so this game like I said has a lot of discovery has a lot of exploration and also has a lot of puzzles to solve apart from the combat one thing uh, I will show you right now guys when you go all the way to the uh, basically northwestern part of the map you can collect this uh, and learn essence blast and here we go essence blast is basically one of your abilities now a uh, couple of things here as uh, my suggestions uh, to the developer first of all uh, things like this are extremely random so they need to kind of uh, engage uh, the player base with some tool tips as to how to reach them or or what they might want to do is uh, kind of make them a little bit uh, more uh, visible uh, make a different animation about them because now it's very simple and very similar to our souls that we are picking up uh, to gain more health and it's very easy to actually miss this and it's one of the main abilities that uh, we will need to use in combat uh, and as you will see in a couple of minutes uh, from now as you probably noticed, uh, everything in this game is kind of cute, even this mushroom that will want to kill us right now, it is kind of cute, but it's also poisonous. Now, I can use my main try to ignore these big fellas here, but uh, I kind of said that everything in the game is cute, those are definitely not cute, I'm not a big fan of those, so we'll just try to kind of ignore and evade them, yeah. Now we can crush some stones and we need 10 acorns to make a passage through here and reach the big old tree. So uh, let's look for some acorns. What you don't want to do is uh, get stuck on these uh, purple uh, vines because they will definitely damage you. Also, these uh, things here. Excuse me, crab. These things, uh, you can basically destroy them to get some more health uh, for yourself as well that is what they are used for all right i will kind of have to deal with our, our fellow here those guys are very easy to defeat and very easy to evade so that is at least good we have another x mark spot so that will give us five acorns and we will need five more because uh, we need ten but here we have uh, our puzzle if you remember so we'll just do this and uh, and I did uh, the wrong thing, so basically we need to do this, and there we go. It will open up a passage, and now we have the other X here. We'll borrow for some more acorns, and be on our merry way, because we need to be very fast. Alrighty, now we have a big angry tree to deal with, and we are already closed off. See how angry this is? That doesn't sound very good, does it? Uh, he will try to spike us like this, so we just want to slap it and you just want to be on the move and try to evade his attacks, uh, but he will spawn NPC enemies, so you kind of want to be very, very fast around it and evade its stabs 
but also evade these NPCs which also have those uh, big tongs and yeah you want to be on the move basically at all times because see how easy and now uh, sometimes he only spikes you once but sometimes he will do it like three times in a row uh, like this for example and you just want to be on the move at all times now i'm not going to use my main ability my strong ability right now because i think that this can be done easily without uh, actually uh, resorting to that and uh, we can kind of save a little bit of uh... oh good lord maybe maybe that's not a, such a good idea we'll see let's just keep on running he has issues when we run and he is basically spamming more of those uh, you just want to be on the move at all times just slap it around uh, i'm very lucky that the other one seems to be blocked right now it's kind of sleepy so that is good uh, this one is dead right now so let's just evade 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 there we go my friend settle down why so angry? And we defeated it! Now, because we defeated the big battle tree, we learned the dash ability. Dash allows you to dodge some enemy attacks and go through some passable terrain. Awesome! Now, what we want to do while we are here is uh, get some health back up. Because we took a lot of damage. And of course, we have this NPC that is kind of stuck here, so we might actually... Closer. Okay, this was very convenient actually. It bugged out for me and that worked perfectly here. That actually worked more than perfect. What is this? Can I use this? Alright, that was my Essence Blast. And uh, let's see if we can gather some more health from here. If not, uh, we'll be uh, moving on. That is our first boss done. From what I know, there is uh, one more. It's... Uh, even nastier if uh, if you trust me but uh, you shall get to see it in a moment let's find our way back home i think there is a way to actually dash to here yeah there we go so we can dash to those vines right now and we can be a very sneaky squirrel dash here we have there we road. go there we are egna you have done well little one but for now you must uh, rest until tansira calls you once again I would assume that means that uh, we kind of uh, have a chance uh, to go somewhere here, but probably in an upcoming version of the game, not in this limited capacity. But you know, let's uh, go explore a little bit more. I think there is uh, another area here that we can go through right now and talk to another pro. Uh, basically, part of something like of, this, uh, you know, those health orbs that we are collecting in the game. That is one of the main goals in the overall game, uh, not in this demo in particular, but in the overall game as well. So if you go here on escape, you will see this represents how many health orb pieces you have. Three health orb pieces will get you a brand new health orb. So basically by collecting those, you can actually grow with the game and uh, get more health points. So you can endure more combat in the future on some other levels but yeah uh, let's, so let's explore the secret cave right now cave is being very secret mush uh, mush plume caves alrighty then we wanna be a very fast boy because uh, as you see there will be a lot of shrooms here now these little guys those are extremely deadly they are basically bombs they can explode in your face if you don't hit them right and uh, the combat is a little bit clunky right now so you uh, very often will not be able to hit them as hard as you would like to but see like some things are kind of interactable when you pass to them uh, right now they don't really do anything but it makes me believe that there is a, a, a you know a bigger meaning to it somewhere somehow in time right now i have found this uh, kind of like a, a tombstone of a great tree something definitely uh, not very favorable happened here let me just take a, away my cursor it's always in the middle of the screen for a very reason we have some acorns here that uh, we are not able to collect or do anything basically with them so this uh, makes me believe that it's something maybe saved uh, for the future as well we'll be on our merry way and continue our exploration here in the caves 
Now, as you will see, uh, the roof is uh, on fire. The roof is falling down. And we have lost a health orb because of that. So what we want to do is kind of uh, find a way to replenish that health orb. And this shroomy boy will be just what the doctor ordered for that. Because uh, it is static, so you can basically avoid its attacks uh, quite easily. Unless you are very, very, very naive. And get some health orbs back. We can also explore the north part of the cave right now after we defeat it. But my primary goal here is to kind of get more health before we actually engage with the second uh, boss of this demo. And up we go. It's very strange. So uh, we have uh, found something here. It seems like those are tombstones uh, with some bonfires around them. The interesting thing is that uh, they are not really interactable as of now. However, if you hit them, Ghost will start to appear. Like, look at this. See, like, you can hear the voices as, as you hit the tombstones. And ghosts are basically sprawling from them. And I'm not sure what the, the meaning of that is. If you just spam our fights, nothing realistically will happen here. So I kind of feel bad about uh, upsetting the spirits. But that makes me believe it's either going to be something that uh, it will be implemented in the game in the future or maybe it's just something they thought it would be very cool for some thematic purposes and bring some more life to the world which uh, it oh, actually right. is now uh, we have second a lot of boss, this, uh, friends round two, guys, round two means uh, the second boss of this demo so let's see what this is all about and if we can defeat it sure. this time it's not an angry tree it's an angry mushroom i will spam my most powerful attack uh, at it uh, as much as i can why because uh, first of all you will notice those purple spores around the mushroom that means that uh, you are not able to close down on the mushroom it has protection the way to fight it is to use your range attack but uh, the range attack obviously gets depleted over time when you use it so you need to replenish it how do we replenish our attack we fight those orbs so this mushroom will spam these orbs here and uh, they will try to basically kill you with those but at the same time if you destroy those you will get a fair amount of health back um, if you need it and you will also get a little bit of your attack power back now the bad thing is that uh, you get more health uh, than attack power so what uh, that uh, means on paper is that uh, you can kind of stay alive but uh, just uh, be here for a long long time because uh, you will still need to get a lot of attack power back uh, and uh, you can keep yourself healthy in the meantime that is the good part about it. Unless you, you mess up like this, and the easiest thing uh, to mess up is kind of uh, getting uh, your attacks uh, wrong, because they are kind of clunky, I did mention this before, and that is something that they should definitely need to be working on uh, for this uh, reason in particular. You have boss battles that are kind of reliant on your ability to engage, and... Uh, Around here, it's uh, it's very difficult to engage with your main attack because uh, those orbs move uh, quite rapidly, and your main attack is uh, feels so clunky and detached at times that uh, it's a wonder how am I hitting it. So I hope uh, and I probably you know I, I kind of expect them to probably have that fixed uh, by the time of uh, the full release of the game or in an upcoming version. This is still uh, only the first the test phase. So I kind of uh, expect more fluidity from the attacks uh, because it's obvious that it's extremely necessary, you know, and that uh, is still very rudimentary when it comes to that. But even even with that, I think we can uh, attempt to do our best here and uh, just kind of pay attention to things, uh, try to stay alive, grab as much uh, health uh, potions as we can. Grab as much uh, attack points as we can. And uh, oh, winds. Oh, the Eastern Winds Company. There we go. Let's just avoid that. There we go. Perfect. Oh, how many of those are there? We're kind of getting. 
Bam! The, no, 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 not like that. Not like that, sir. Get me the hit. Okay. That was a close call. Another close. Ooh. All right, sir. Why are you angry? That is why. Oh, they, ooh, and he got me. I have never seen him so angry. I think uh, I think we are getting to him probably, huh? You know what? We might be getting to him. Let's just get our health. Uh... Oh, how did that hit me? See, some of the interacts uh, feel extremely weird. Now this squirrel runs almost as if I am under the effect of the wind again. Which I'm not sure what is causing it. It's just a little bit weird. Alright, we got a fair amount of health back, that is good. Let's try to get some more attack power back and uh, hopefully do a round 3 of unleashing punishment on, on the main boss. Gee, this is like a chaos. Believe me, it looks simpler than it actually is. And I think what makes it a little bit uh, com uh, confusing and difficult is uh, the lack of ability to actually judge uh, how uh, precise and how efficiently your attacks will trigger as you will CC. And because you are basically attacking orbs that are designed to attack you themselves, it is kind of the difference between life and death here. If you hit it, you get some nice uh, bonuses. If you miss it, you get destroyed. The music is interesting. There we go, we grabbed some more health. We are back to full health, which is very nice. Let's grab full... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this was a close call. There we go. Almost got a triple slap there. Definitely not something that you wanna see. Getting triple slapped. Not a good look. And of course, all of my orbs uh, had to get stuck in the middle of the thorn vines. How about that? Alright, some more winds. Let's get the hell out of the wind. We are almost back to full attack power, so we are just going to wait for a moment more. And uh, kind of try to use uh, that attack power. Sure. Oh, good lord, I got stuck on a thing here. No! Ooh, that was a nice dash. Alright, we have full attack power. No? How many hits can you take, dude? I swear to god, I hit him like 13 to 14 times by now. How much more can he take? Oh! Oh, now this luck is a very strong when he's getting angrier. Let's be very careful, our health is uh, very much down right now. Yeah, yeah, he's spamming a lot of wind right now. He's getting angrier, so we are probably close to actually slapping him in the face, but... Uh... No, Nemo! Well, curses, my friends. But that is basically the most and the gist of it. That is your demo here uh, for the Sacred Acorn. 
now if you guys want to try this out and maybe prove that you can do better than me especially with this second boss around here what you need to do is click on the affiliated link below this video to take you to G round you can sign up to G round and you can play test this game and many many others basically two new indie games per week uh, completely free of charge upcoming games you can test them out see how they feel uh, maybe even collaborate with developers and help them out make a better game as well and you will be able to get some nice rewards for your efforts as well in the form of PC appliances software hardware uh, for many many reviews that uh, you could be doing for the games or you can just play test games and help the people making them make a better game at the same time in uh, below the video here you will see some links uh, to the actual game you can wishlist the secret acorn you can follow them on their social media you can join their discord and follow the development of this game and who knows uh, maybe it will be just right up your alley you know it's a very cozy game it's a very cute game it's uh, one of those uh, very chill vibe games and i hope that uh, all of those issues that i mentioned kind of get ironed out get a little bit more fluid combat going on overall uh when it comes to the music and to the art style i'm very very much satisfied with how the game works uh, the gameplay is fun it needs a little bit more fluidity uh some things do need to be a little bit uh, uh more precise some things need to be explained a little bit better for example you know the key binds how you use your powers how you gain your powers uh, uh, maybe the thing uh, that I mentioned about X mark the spot make it a little bit more hidden But you know, it's a work in progress and I'm very excited to kind of be following this work in progress and see uh, Where it takes uh, this studio and where it takes us all that have tried this game My friends, I wish you uh, a very very good remainder of your day Stay tuned for our next review and for our next video and of course uh, do check out the game and uh, have some fun with it until next time, the Celestial Voyager is beaming out.